okay, measure 11 just now, we discussed how f can move to g, right? Because we decided that basically measure 11 is just the whole big chord one. It's moving from... Okay? So what's happening is that, as you can see very clearly in this instance, the G is moving into the alto voice. By the time it reaches B flat, it's in the same, it's in the same voice as the alto in the next chord. So what happened, when that happens, you call that an unfolding. It's kind of like the soprano voice is unfolding into the alto voice. And how we notate that is like that. Okay? Now that's a simple way to remember that, if it looks a little weird to you. So imagine that you have a, <clears throat> a B flat and an F here. This, this is what you have at first, right? So imagine that the upper note does a little somersault. So it becomes like that, and then it becomes like that. Correct? And then you just kind of like connect them with the line. Okay? So that's a different unfolding. <clears throat> 